Assalamu alaikum. I'm Ibrahim Hooper with CARE's weekly news update. In the past week, CARE joined the nationwide call for justice in the shooting death of Florida teen Trayvon Martin. In a statement, CARE said, We hope this tragedy will prompt a national dialogue about how some Americans are viewed as the other or suspicious based solely on stereotypes or prejudice. CARE also thanked a New York law firm for dropping a planned talk by anti-Islam extremist Robert Spencer. The law firm's actions came following a CARE statement exposing Spencer's Islamophobic views. In California, CARE called for a hate crime probe of vandalism targeting a mosque in that state. A local mosque attacked by vandals. Mosque leaders say they're certain this is a hate crime. Investigators say the West Sacramento Islamic Center was the target. Derek Shore spoke with religious leaders about the attack. Well, the West Sacramento Islamic Center is actually being rebuilt. It's under construction with equipment sitting here in the hallways. But leaders here fear it may never get done if someone doesn't stop damaging their sacred place. CARE's San Diego chapter spent the week working with law enforcement officials and the community after a Muslim woman was beaten to death in her home. Joining me to look at the issue of hate in San Diego County are my guests, Oscar Garcia. He's a San Diego Hate Crimes Unit District Attorney and Edgar Hopida with the Council on American Islamic Relations. Thank you, gen gentlemen, for being here. Thank you for having us. Now, Edgar, we have a large Muslim community in El Cajon. What's been the reaction to this death? Uh, first is shock, but also they feel that maybe they're under siege because it, there's a possibility that it might be a hate crime. So that's the perception. Uh, whether or not it is a hate crime or not, it's still to be decided. In New York, a CARE spokesman explained why the NYPD's spying on law-abiding Muslims has a chilling effect on religious rights. How has this made an impact uh, in mosques around New York City? I mean, uh, are people more worried uh, to befriend anyone? I is this a, a really big concern still? Absolutely. I've heard this from a number of people. Uh, me, I'm a little bit more outspoken about my own views because I've kind of uh, committed to this. But on the other hand, there are uh, lots of people who have come forward and said that they're uncomfortable talking about politics, that they're uncomfortable even talking about religion and their religious beliefs with people that they don't know, with people outside of their family, people even distrusting other family members who have worked for the police department or for the FBI or the counterterrorism agencies because people don't feel safe. Following new revelations that the FBI uses mosque outreach events to gather intelligence on the Muslim community, CARE offered mosques a model policy on law enforcement outreach. And finally, CARE National Board Vice Chair Sarwat Hussein received the Peacemaker of the Year Award at the Pax Christi Conference on Compassion in Texas. To receive CARE's updates and action alerts, sign up at care.com. To contact CARE, email info at care.com. Assalamu alaikum. Peace to you. Learn more at care.com.